Um, just kind of looking back on the film, what did you think of last week? Um, you know, where we're at right now is uh, we're playing extremely hard. Um, we're playing extremely physical. I think for the first time that we got to see kind of our run game be, you know, what we hoped it could be. Um, I thought the game itself was a little bit choppy, but once we got up 14 to nothing, we never were, by, you know, we were never ahead by less than 10, you know, double digits. So um, I uh, think that we haven't put a complete game together yet, but we are, I, I thought when you watched the tape, we, we physically beat them up and we moved them off the ball and we were, um, we, and, and that was from the early, from the first drive of the game that we marched down and scored to the very last one, you know, where we put it away with the touchdown pass to RJ. And um, so I'm really proud of our guys there. I, I think that we're still kind of just finding the sink. You know, we had some young guy mistakes there late in the game that got us some penalties that, you know, called us, called a touchdown back and had another big game, you know, explosive play back. And, you know, so there was a little bit of choppiness and I don't think even sloppy is the right word, but there was some choppiness to, to how the game finished out. So, I mean, we ended up with 66 offensive plays, which is, um, Again, just the nature of the game kind of kind of dictated that, right? We had two uh, less than three play drives. We had, you know, the, the, so we were scoring points even though we weren't, you know, running a whole bunch of plays. So um, pleased with our effort. Good time for a bye week to happen, right? We got a we got um, a, as physical as our camp was, as physical as this early part of the season's been. Um, it's a good time to get those guys that are nicked and banged up a little bit, get them some back healthy, ready to go, and, and we got a tough seven-game stretch coming up. So um, it's a good time for it to hit. And speaking of that, like running back availability has been a little touch and go for you guys this year, but it doesn't really like seem to translate in the games. It feels like every game someone's able to, to, to push through. How much do you kind of put that up to the depth you guys have and then also you know what the offensive line's doing? Yeah, the offensive line's really playing um, well, doing some good things. Uh, obviously, we've got backs. It was good to see Belton Gardner get a chance to jump in there. And, and have some productive runs for us and, and do that. And it's, you're right. I mean, I mean, I think that I'm sure that there's frustrations on all sides about the consistency of having one guy that's available every week to carry the load the way you need to do it. But, you know, that's, that's why you recruit the way you do and you have competitiveness in the, in the uh, rooms that you have. And um, when one guy, you know, stumbles, then we got another guy that can go lead our team in rushing and, and be super productive. And um, certainly it was good to see uh, – Jalen there, I thought he had some kind of ball security issues late in the game, so we got to make sure that we shore that up this week. But obviously, um, him outrunning the entire deep, we've been waiting our, we've been waiting two years for a play like that. So that was um, really exciting to see. And, um, so we'll just we'll continue to you know work on those guys every time. You know, I, we, I was part of an enormous mistake at Tennessee in 2005 where we said, this is our guy, this is our guy, this is our guy, and then he got hurt the next week, and then we're like, this is our guy, this is our guy, this is our guy, this is our guy, and then he got hurt the next week. And then if you're if you're over that in the media about this is our guy and we're going to ride him and blah, 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 then you're not always in control of how the season goes. So, yes, we'd obviously like to have some more consistency, but, you know, at the same time, you, we, productivity is the most important thing, and, and right now um, – We've had a really productive two weeks, I think. With uh, kind of what you said earlier, five weeks in, you kind of wish the offense maybe had more of an identity and was clicking a little better, but at the same time to say we're five weeks in and we still haven't reached our full potential, and when we do, we're going to be a really good good team down the top of the Yeah, you know, I, I mean, you can always be better. Obviously, there's we've expressed not fully putting everything together in such a way, and, and I think um, – I think we all see that, and I, I do think that there's encouragement that I, I've not seen this week's rankings. I know that we are standing uh, statistics-wise. I know that we're in the upper half in offense in our league. So we're having success, even though it's maybe the flow of it's not exactly what you always want it to be, you know. Um, so I think that there's the, – the, the most encouraging thing is that we are playing extremely hard. Everyone says that, but we're play, I've been part of teams that play pretty hard. And we're playing extremely hard, and we are playing extremely physical, way more physical than at any point we were in the season last year. And, you know, when you put those two together, we've got some playmakers. We have individuals that are showing up and, and flashing and, and doing those things. We're not putting the ball in jeopardy, in my opinion. You know, the turnover that we had, again, was just kind of an unlucky misread, but it wasn't forced throws or blind throws or, you know, we're not reckless with the ball necessarily. And so um, I, when you have those things – 
and you still have development to go, then I think that there's cautious optimism, but optimism nonetheless about um, about where we can go and, and when we need to break. You know, we need to break here in the course of the next three or four weeks, and that that would be when you'd ideally like to be operating at you know at, at full strength. So. Yeah, how, how do you assess the passing game just through five weeks? It just seems like, you know, last year, obviously, having Rasheed was kind of a cheat code in a way, but you know, just all the different faces that are in there at receiver and just kind of, you know, here and there, just some, I guess, lack, lack of consistency. In yeah, a I, way. Think, I think that there's, it's kind of the same thing. It's the same general feel about all of it, right? And it's the more guys that you play and they're all deserving of playing and they're all making plays when you have an opportunity to, I, you know, it's – it's hard to say, well, we're just not going to play this guy, you know, and then one thing, it's like doing the same thing with the running backs a little bit, you know. So um, we we are a different offense than we were last year. We've got a different quarterback than we had last year from an operational standpoint. And, and Preston's strengths, we're, we're doing our best to play to his strengths, you know, which are different than what Tanner's were. And um, I do think that um, the people are doing a nice job trying to defend our deep – passes right that, that they, they fear that out of us and so that makes us work that intermediate game more than we've uh you know been forced to at any point up to this point last year and um and i think that's good i think preston's executing in those um the way we want him to you know so i think that finding that true identity about where we want to land between our shots versus our mid-range versus how we're going to distribute quick throws and stuff to get him to get him completions you know is it's kind of a work in progress still, and I think that we're stepping a little bit closer and a little bit closer. I think we just got so much behind our pads this week. We felt like we were pushing the ball down the field without having to necessarily throw it very much. We had some key third down conversions, but other than that, we were really, you know, we were trying to send a message to our kids. We were trying to send a message to, um, you know, our goals for what it is that we want to do as far as, 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 as running the football and, and um and I thought we were able to accomplish that for the most part this week. Is there a sense, and not that the playbook is dumbed down or limited for Preston, but is there a sense that as the season goes on, the playbook does open up more for Preston and that maybe there is a sense of figuring out what he does better and kind of opening up some more things for him further down the road, or is that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you, you always got to play with your player strengths, I think. And so um, I don't know if it's necessarily uh, – we've got the whole offense installed since um, fall camp. I think from there we had to establish what what it was we were good at and what we felt like we wanted to get done from a goal standpoint, what, what he was most comfortable operating with. And so um, I think as we develop, obviously there's going to be game-specific opportunities. Man, this team is playing this way that's very different than anyone else has played us, and so we've got to attack it in a different manner. Um, I, I think the more comfortable he is, then, then the more expansive the offense than he can operate under. But I don't, he, he's, it's all in, you know what I mean? It's not, it's, it's not like we're withholding this until week six and then we're going to bust it out. It's, we we kind of have what we have in. Um, he's got to continue to master the things that he's best at. And we got to make sure that we put him in the best positions to, um, to execute. Um, and then I think that it, it doesn't just follow him. I think it follows our um, entire team and our entire offense. How, what, what level of execution are we at right now? You know, and how do we, um, how do we tailor what we have in the offense to one, what he's good at, but also what we're what we're operating at. You know, at, at other levels. So, um, getting the personnel right and making sure that we're doing that. Um, I don't want to lose sight of the productivity that we're having on offense, even though there are some kind of like inconsistencies a little bit with just not feeling like we've played our best game. Uh, from start to finish, but I, you know, we talked all week about having a big third quarter, and we went out, and went three and out, and scored on the first play of the third quarter. You know, so it's there's, um, they're they're listening to what we're saying. They're trying to do. They're trying to be coachable. They're responding to what they're doing, and the best thing that they're doing, um, obviously, is is the effort, the physicality, protecting the ball, um, you know, and 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 then doing a good job in those situational situational situations. So.